Hello great minds, welcome to Focus Academic Solution YouTube channel on this edition on how to write precautions for the following physics practical experiments. The followings are mechanics, optics, electricity and heat. The simple pendulum experiment is used to determine the acceleration g due to gravity using the equation period t equals 2 pi square root of l over g, where l equals length of the pendulum. This equation is derived mathematically by assuming that the angle of displacement, or amplitude, is very small so that the bob oscillates in a straight line. Therefore, if the pendulum swing becomes elliptical, the period measured would not be accurate. 1. I ensured that the bob was displaced through a small angle of displacement in order to I. To maintain a uniform oscillation over a period of time. 2. In order to avoid damping effect i.e. the influence between slash upon an oscillating system that has the effect of restricting, preventing or retrieving its oscillations. 2. I ensured that I avoided conical oscillation or conical motion. 3. I ensured that I avoided parallax error of the meter rule. 4. I ensured I avoided zero error of the stop clock. In order to avoid systematic error. 5. I ensured I took repeated readings in the timing in order to avoid random error. 6. I ensured that the windows were shut and the fans were off in order to avoid external air. An optical prism is transparent optical element with flat, polished surfaces that refract light. At least one surface must be angled. Elements with two parallel surfaces are not prisms. One. Make sure glass of slab is clean and it must be free from air bubbles. 2. Also, the angle of incidence should be lies between 30 degree and 60 degree. 3. I avoided parallax error of meter rule when taking my readings. 4. I ensured a collinear arrangement of the objects lens and screen or I ensured the optical components are aligned correctly. 5. I ensured that the lens was cleaned in order to obtain a clearer image. 6. I ensured that the lens was vertically placed in a lens holder. 7. I ensured that a sharp image was observed before taking my reading. 8. I ensured that the windows were closed using a curtain to obtain a sharp image and avoid external light interference. If you are a student preparing for exam, this is for you or maybe you are a teacher trying to refresh your brain before going to class. This is also very useful to you on electricity practical. One. I ensured that electric terminals were tightly connected to avoid partial contact. 2. I ensured that the key was open when the readings were not taken in order to avoid running down the cell or battery. 3. I avoided parallax error of the voltmeter when taking my reading. 4. I ensured that I avoided zero error of the voltmeter when taking my reading. 5. I ensured that I used short connecting wires to minimize the resistance of the lengthy wire and conserve the energy of the battery. Ohm's law, VIIE, V equals IR, T and OPA constant. Low internal resistance offered by the cell is the reason EMF is always greater than PD. The calorimeter is a device used to measure the heat flow of a chemical or physical reaction. Calorimetry is the process of measuring this heat. It consists of a metal container to hold water above the combustion chamber and a thermometer to measure the temperature change. One. A sufficient amount of solid powder should be used to cover the tip of the thermometer. 
2. A sufficient amount of water should be taken in a hypsometer. 3. Dropping of solid should be quick and gentle. 4. To avoid excess radiation, the calorimeter should be polished from outside. 5. The temperature of cold water should not cross the dew point. 1. Avoided parallax error in reading thermometer slash weighing balance. 2. Avoided thermometer bulb from touching the bottom slash side of calorimeter. 3. Stirred continuously, gently the mixture in the calorimeter. 4. Noted slash corrected zero error of weighing balance.